Welcome to the Second Year Chemistry Core Labs. My name is Liz New and I'm the Second Year Lab Director. If you have any questions about the labs, you can email me or come and see me in my office. The Second Year Labs are found on Level 5 of the Chemistry Building. This introductory video will tell you a bit about how these labs run. You must watch this video and answer the short quiz below the video before you can access other important parts of this Blackboard site. As part of this lab course, you must attend eight lab sessions in weeks one to eight. Labs run from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. They don't start at 2 p.m. like you were used to in first year. You'll be rotating through eight different experiments in both the synthetic and the analytical laboratories. Half of you have been timetabled to synthetic lab. This means that you will start experiment five in week one. The other half of you have analytical lab on your timetable. You will do experiment one in week one. Our lab classes are at capacity, so we cannot allow students to swap between days. You must attend the day for which you have been timetabled. If you absolutely cannot attend lab in, on a certain day, then please contact me a week in advance to organise the swap. If you just turn up to the lab, you won't be allowed in. Make sure you familiarise yourself with the lab program folder on Blackboard, as it contains all the essential information you will need for the course, including pre-work quizzes, the folder for report submission, and other important information like appendices on lab techniques. This year, you're expected to use ChemSketch or a similar structure drawings program and Excel or a similar graphing program. Information about these can be found in the training folder. Within this folder, you will find a tutorial on how to use ChemSketch and the enrollment page for the Excel learning site. Make sure you do this training as soon as possible so you're ready when you come into the lab. The first thing to do as soon as you can is to pick up a lab manual from the Level 5 service room. This lab manual contains all the important information you need to know about labs, so make sure you read through it thoroughly. Before you come to the lab, you must complete online pre-work for the experiment that you will be doing. This pre-work counts 10% of the experimental mark for that week. The pre-work is very easy. It consists of five multiple choice questions, and most of the answers can be found in the lab manual. But the pre-work is essential. If you have not completed the pre-work for the lab, you will not be allowed to enter the lab, and you will therefore get a mark of zero for that week. The pre-work is designed to make sure that you have read the lab before you come and to cover any important safety issues. Experiments can often take the full four hour lab session. So it's really important that you've thought about the experiment and read the lab manual before you come to class. One way you can prepare for lab is to prepare a flowchart. You must prepare a flowchart for each experiment and have it signed off by a demonstrator before you can start working. A flowchart just describes what steps you will be taking in the lab and in what order. So for example, in one step you may be mixing one propanol with acetic acid, and so you might draw something like this. You should also include on your flowchart the mass or volume of any reagent you're using and any other important information, so that you know very quickly what you need to be doing at any time in the lab. There is more information on flowcharts in the lab manual, and in the appendix folder on Blackboard. In the lab, all experiments will be completed individually. You're going to be given a lab notebook. You need to paste into this any answer sheets you're given, paste into it your flowcharts, and write down anything important, any observations you make in the lab. If you want to query a mark or ask a question, you must bring your notebook with you so we can check what you actually did in the lab. In your first lab, you'll be given a blue card. This will show your individual timetable and allow you to be issued with chemicals. Make sure you paste this blue card into the front cover of your lab book. There are lots of people to help you during lab. There will be three demonstrators in each of the two labs. There'll be an academic supervisor and two service room staff who will work here in the level five service room. The service room is where you will come to get chemicals, to get replacements of solutions that might have run out and replacement glassware that you might have broken. This is also where you will need to hand in any samples for the synthetic labs. It's very important to make sure you clean up your space before you leave the lab. These labs run from Monday to Friday. And if you come in one day to find dirty glassware, it's because the person before you didn't clean up properly. Since that's really annoying, make sure that you clean up properly for the next person who comes in. 
If you don't clean up properly, you may lose up to 10% of the marks for that experiment. 90% of the marks for the lab course come from the lab report. The other 10% come from pre-work. The lab report mark will be based on your performance in the lab, that is your yield or your product quality or your accuracy. And the rest of the mark will be based on how you write the report and how you consider the discussion questions. We want you to demonstrate that you understand the experiments that you performed. There is lots of information about how to write reports in the lab manual and on Blackboard, so make sure that you consult those places. Lab reports will be due at midnight one week after the day you attended lab. In the case of week 7 experiments, directly before the mid-semester break, they will not be due until week 8, so that will be two weeks after the day you attended lab. Lab reports must be produced electronically, and they must be submitted through Turnitin on Blackboard. This is what the assignment Dropbox might look like. Make sure that you submit your report in the correct Dropbox. For example, if you performed experiment one on a Monday, make sure you submit your report in the experiment one Monday folder. All of the lab reports will be marked using a rubric. You can view this marking rubric before you submit the report. You can go to the assignment inbox, find this symbol, which looks like some bricks and click on it and it will show you the rubric. If you want to then submit the report, click on this button here. Reports will be marked within two weeks. In most cases, we will try to mark the reports within a week and return the feedback to you as soon as possible. You'll be able to see the marked rubric as well as any comments that the demonstrators make on your report. You must consider safety at all times when working in the lab. You must wear closed shoes, safety glasses, a lab coat and have long hair tied back. Whenever you step out of the lab, even if it's just to go to the toilet, take off your lab coat. You're not allowed to wear a lab coat anywhere in the common areas of the building. As usual, there is to be no eating or drinking in the laboratory and no mobile phone conversations in the lab. If you absolutely must speak on the phone, you need to step out of the lab. You will find a safety map in your lab manual. When you first come in in week one, Complete that map, identifying all important safety features. A demonstrator will need to sign off this map before you can start any experiments. One aspect of the safety is that we need to keep track of who is in the lab at all times. We're doing this by having a sign-in, sign-out computer where you can scan your student cards each time you walk in or out of the lab. You must do this even if you're just going out to the toilets or to have a drink of water. The computer will record your attendance at the lab, but we won't record any other information. We are only collecting this information for safety reasons. If you don't have your student card with you, you can type in your SID. So now that I've finished lecturing you, you can look forward to coming into lab and doing some great experiments this semester. Right now, what you need to do is complete the quiz below this video, and don't forget to pick up your lab manual and do your pre-work before you come to class. And we look forward to seeing you in labs in week one.